Reigns is a simple game. You are king, you want to stay king. In order to do that, you must balance your four stats through non-stop decisions. Every decision affects your stats in one way or another, and if one of them gets too high or too low, it's Bayonara for you. It's a simple concept, but that does not equate to an easy time. Reigns is perfectly okay with punishing your stupidity, and once your stupidity has been punished, you play as the next king. This is actually where most of the fun comes from. You want to see how long you can make it. You want to get your personal best. It's like trying to get a high score on an arcade cabinet. Is it the best game in the world? No. But you want to keep playing in order to have your name immortalized for all of time. To distract from its relative simplicity, it also presents an array of goofy characters and bizarre situations that will be sure to get you to release the fabled gamer nose exhale. You can trip on mushrooms, you can hug your executioner, you can fight a fake dragon. All of these pieces should make a relatively good game. Unfortunately, you might want to reins in your excitement. Oh my god, help. The game starts to fall apart in its lack of depth. The stat balancing gameplay gets really old in large doses, which is not helped by the repetitive nature of the cards. It starts becoming less about how you think your decisions will influence the game, and more, oh, I recognize that card, if I swipe left then I get these specific stats. What little story it has also feels disjointed due to the nature of the game. You'll just be playing along and then all of a sudden the next five cards are some shoehorned in overarching plot. Also, unless some major event happens like a crusade or you discover a new world, you will just have to stare at the static, dark background. I think it's a really big missed opportunity to make the background fluctuate based on what is happening in the game. And that's honestly how I feel about Reigns. While there are some promising elements, it never really feels like it lives up to its true potential. Which is why unfortunately I have to give this game a 4.3 out of 10. Now a 4.3 does not mean it's an actively bad game, just pretty below par. If you're willing to drop a few bucks to pass an hour or two, then I feel like getting Reigns might be worth it. If you're a bit cash-strapped, however, you can also get Dictator 2 off the App Store. It features similar gameplay except there are six factions, extra mechanics, and it's less punishing. However, it comes with all the typical annoying junk you'd expect from a mobile game. My personal recommendation is to play some Dictator 2, and if you like that, drop a couple bucks on Reigns. See you next video.